Okay, in this demonstration, we are going to learn how to properly mince garlic. This is a bulb of garlic. But first, before we start the cutting, we want to ensure that we have a proper station set up that has a container with our raw product. We have a very stable cutting board set up, either with the wet towel method underneath the cutting board or a very consistent, uh, uh, where you have a very consistent, flat, safe surface. It's very important in knife skills. We also have a container for our waste product and again ensures a very consistent, clean, and usable workstation. Again, we're gonna can, we're gonna actually weigh the waste so that we get uh, really get used to having the least amount of waste as possible when we do our knife cuts. In this case, we're gonna take garlic because garlic is a very pungent vegetable. We want to make sure we're cutting it correctly. We have in the past used a large dice, medium dice, small dice. In today's lesson, we're going to learn the smallest of them, which is a brinois or mince. And we're going to use basically the same technique. First and foremost, ensure you have a very sharp knife. You should be in the habit of stealing your knife before and after each use. This will ensure a very sharp and straight blade. Remember the two methods, either away from you or standing the steel on the cutting board, pulling your knife on equal sides at about a 35 or 40 degree angle. Now that we have a sharp knife, clean cutting board, we are ready to produce the cut. This is a bulb of garlic. The easiest way to separate the cloves from a bulb of garlic is to take uh, a fair amount of pressure and slightly rolling the garlic will loosen up the actual individual cloves. Garlic has a lot of papery sheaths around it that we need to remove. So the easiest way is to remove all the cloves first. And then I'll show you a quick way in a minute or two to remove the actual paper husk from the remaining paper. Great idea is to use a little bench scraper to safely remove the waste, which we will weigh and calculate into our final edible product. It's very difficult to peel garlic uh, the way it sets, it's hard to get your fingers in there to peel it. So the easiest way is to place your knife flat on the, on, the, on the garlic and just slightly crack it. Uh, there are some applications of the recipe that call you to smash it, but in this one we want to keep the uh, garlic whole. And by cracking it, it just slightly makes the paper a little easier to peel right off. And now we have removed the last of the paper from our garlic clove. Once you've removed all the garlic cloves, uh, the paper from the garlic cloves, now you're ready to mince the garlic. Remember, garlic is a very pungent vegetable, so we want to make these very small so when your customers eat it, they don't get a large chunk of garlic. We use the same technique we used for an onion, which is to make horizontal slices, then vertical slices, then come across it. Here I'm going to use basically the tip of the knife. Again, I'm going to pull the garlic to the end of the table so I have a nice flat surface and I can cut an even slice. Just placing a finger on top to hold it, and I'm just using little sawing motions, not trying to go through this piece of garlic in one pass. I'm going to make a few passes to make it easier. These should be as thin as possible. Think of using about the width of the blade to produce. You can see you can make it very thin as you get good here. So now I've made my equal horizontal or vertical or horizontal slices. Try to keep them as equal as possible. Now I'm going to turn it towards me and I'm going to make my vertical slices 
keeping this piece of garlic whole. So I don't want to cut the whole way through it. I want to just cut about three quarters of the way through. Very thin. Notice my fingers are out of the way. Trying to keep them evenly spaced. Cutting about three quarters of the way through the piece of garlic. I want to have my vertical in my horizontal slices. I'm going to turn it the original way we had it. Fingers tucked behind and very thinly, evenly spaced forward and down slices. Moving my fingers back as I produce the slice. And you can see very easily how this method creates very evenly spaced minced garlic. The root end typically will end into a stock pot.